What's up guys, back again for another book review. Today's book is, is very special. A good buddy of mine, Will Schuster from New York City, he said, Nate, you know, you gotta get this book, man. You know, we just, you know send book ideas back and forth and I'm like, what's it called, Will? And he's like, it's called The Little Black Book of Connection. So when he said that, I'm like, man, I, I envisioned a little black book and I, I just thought it would be like very sacred and yeah. It's literally exactly how I envisioned it. It's, it's amazing. So the little black book of connections, 6.5 assets for networking your way to rich relationships. Guys, before I start this, no matter what it is that you do, I don't care if you're just starting reading or if you've been reading for years, if you've not read this book, you need to read this book. This book is incredible. Like you'll learn so much. Like if you're introverted and you wanna know how to connect more and, and open up, read this. If you're extroverted fully and you want to just make more connections and meet people and clients, read this. Like this book is incredible. Okay. Like look at this. Look at how the opening is. It's it's so I love this book. All things being equal, people want to do business with their friends. All things being not quite so equal, people still want to do business with their friends. Hint, to climb the ladder of success, you don't need more techniques and strategies. You need more friends. I love how that just starts out. Jeffrey Git, uh, Gittimers. Um, yeah, Jeffrey Gittimers. It doesn't really have an about the author section. I don't think it's is it in the back. No, um, yeah, there's a little bit. Yeah. But now this is a really great book. I'll just read like little part because you can see it's 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 like photo friendly. Just the, you know. Everyone wants to be rich, although most people think being rich is about having money. Rich is a description for everything but money. Rich relationships lead to much more than money. They lead to success, fulfillment, and wealth. The myth of the little black book. Okay, so this will give a little bit of behind it. Everyone knows that a little black book contains a powerful and sometimes secret contacts and connections. When I was a kid, I always had a little black book that I kept addresses and secret phone numbers in. Everyone did, my mom, my dad, all my friends. In the 50s and 60s, the world had yet to turn designer. These days, it's hard to find a black book, or if you do, it has a Ralph Lauren or Armani logo on it, it's true. The myth of the little black book went anywhere from powerful business people and connections that you made, to names and phone numbers of girlfriends. But its purpose was, and is universal, keep the names and the contact numbers of those people most important to you. Today, the little black book has turned into a PDA or a laptop or pardon, my expression, a crackberry. Think about it for a moment. How lost would you be if your list of contacts vanished? Let me give you the answer. You'd go beyond lost and into the realm of panic. My bet is if you're a parent and you lost your list of contacts, you probably couldn't even call your children because of all their numbers are on some kind of speed dial and no one remembers numbers anymore. Some of you never remembered them at all. Personally, I can't remember numbers from 40 years ago, but I can't remember numbers from yesterday. In Atlantic City, 1952, my phone number was 2-5740. The next year it expanded to AT2-5740. And I can remember every phone number through high school, but I have no idea what my daughter's phone numbers are and I talk to them every day. That's not the power of connections. That's the paradox of connections. It shows you how delicate connections are and it proves the importance of the most powerful words in the computer world, backup, just like iCloud and whatever you upgrade phones and everything. The question is, do you have a black little black book? And if you do, how powerful is it? Is it full of names of people you hardly know or that hardly know you? Today's black book is some kind of contact get, uh, database, Microsoft Outlook, ACT, FileMaker Pro, whatever it's called, you have it on your desktop, laptop, PDA, or Blackberry, and it's loaded with your important connections. Take a moment and list your top 10 most powerful connections, the people who can make things happen and make things happen for you. Then ask yourself, what have I done for these people lately? And maybe a better question is, are these people you just call every once in a while to suck their blood? <laughs> people call me all the time and ask them to buy me lunch so they can pick my brain. My response is, I have a $500 per hour brain picking fee and I'll buy your lunch. The, that stops all the blood suckers and I make about $5,000 a year eating lunch. How many people are willing to pay you to go to lunch with them? Back to your little black book. In Harvey Mackey's incredible book, dig your well before you're thirsty, he asked the question, who can you call at 2 a.m.? It is without a doubt the most powerful question you can ask of your own network. Who can you count on? And who's counting on you? 
Who, who would call you at two in the morning? Is anybody home? The science and sport of networking and connecting is not for the fast buck, impatient entrepreneur or salesperson. If that's you, throw this book away or give it to someone who wants to build a fortune, not just make a sale. And then there's like this little animation that says, I don't seem to have your number in my little black book. That's a relief. It's like a little comic, you know? So, so yeah, I just wanted to read that, you know, I'll read this last part. This little black book is about connections and connecting so that your little black book will become a success tool, not just, how, not just a number of databases. The little black book of connections is about how you can climb the ladder without stepping or crawling on other people's backs, how to earn the respect of a powerful mentor without begging, how to build stronger relationships with customers, bosses, coworkers, vendors, friends, and family, the power of being in the same room with powerful people, how to connect with powerful people and how not to connect with powerful people, how to say the right things to the right people in the right circumstances to make the right impression, how to maximize your connections so that they benefit you, and more important, how you benefit from them. But the secret is to get to benefit, is to get them to benefit first. So yeah, the table of contents, um, asset number one, who do I know? Asset number two, what do I want? Asset three, what do I do? Asset four, how do I connect? Asset five, who knows you? Asset six, the secret power of connections. Asset 6.5, the value of connections. Okay? So, yeah, guys, again, really great read. Like, yeah, just going through this again makes me want to, you know, read it. it no, I'll, I'll tell you, it, it's for a book, um, it's like in the mid level for price range. I believe this was like, I paid 20 or 25 bucks. I mean, it says 19.95 on the back, but. Um, yeah, definitely, you know, if, if, if you kind of like to buy cheaper books, like, yeah, this is, I'm telling you, this will be the best Andrew Jackson that you'll ever spend, um, in your life just because of the value that you'll get from this. And yeah, it's, it's such a, it's such a great read. Like I'm going to flip to a, a random page now and just read something. Yeah. Like universal truth of connecting. And they have these little parts throughout the book, like these black pages. It says, do what you say you're going to do what you say to others, and what you say to yourself. Offer value. Cultivate relationships. Do it even when you don't need anything in return. I'm going to just mic drop. <laughs> uh, a little black book of connections, ladies and gentlemen.